Well, so here she is to snap on Epic 84. Uh, I didn't opt in for the power drawer. I really didn't need it. I have a service cart here, so I didn't really need the extra space being taken up. I wanted more drawer space. Um, and I know maybe that sounds weird, me wanting more drawer space when I went ahead and put a 36 inch hutch on here, but I really don't like having drawers above about waist or chest high. So uh, for me, the, the hutch was more what I needed and as shop foreman, um, got a lot of paperwork and whatnot, and phone calls. So this is basically my office as well. Anyway, let's get into it. So uh, Epic 84 with the workstation, a couple of side lockers, 36 inch hutch and the 36 inch workstation jump right into the main socket drawer this is a lighted hutch or a lighted stainless top which is pretty nice got the uh, snap-on tech angle torque wrenches uh, some sockets here got the half inch drive uh, some of these are craftsman back here 12 point six point chrome six point uh, impact that's all metric and then this is all standard same thing 12 point six point six point impact and then some three eighths uh, keep my 12 point in here and i keep my uh, six point over there nice long ratchet and breaker bar extensions wobbly sockets that's all matco Some of this is Craftsman, some of it's Carlisle, some of it's Snap-on, some of it's Matco, kind of a mixed bag, but there's my main wrench drawer. Some line wrenches, the big Carlisle set up to 50 millimeter and two inch. Speed drawer. Just kind of got random fittings, nuts, bolts, some injector, uh, some injector pieces from different various Cummins, uh, IPR, fuel pressure sensor out of a Cummins, uh, IPR out of a 6.0 power stroke, fast fuel fittings, uh, drill bits, hose clamps, just some random stuff there. Impact stubby air tools uh, reversible uh, die grinder big hammer uh, these are actually some uh, extended anvil pieces for my seal driver set some random tools down here specialty tools lb7 injector cup uh, tools uh, Mitsubishi Evo, valve spring tool, 7.3 uh, injector cup tools, some pass through sockets in there. Got a Ford timing chain kit, uh, harmonic balancer puller kit, five ton puller, Ford EcoBoost cam holders. Here, my electrical drawer. Punches, chisels, brass punches, round punches, all sorts of stuff in there. Plier drawer. Battery tester, bore scope. Multimeter, um, some seal drivers for the uh, 6.0 and 7.3s and the 6.7, the, the Fords. One inch gun. Pry bars, scrapers, files, extra long screwdrivers. Snap ring pliers, hose picks, coolant stuff. That drawer is currently empty. We go over to the 36 inch box. 
This one's got all my three quarter inch impact sockets, axle nut sockets, specialty sockets, extensions. Uh, a few more 3 8 six point. Uh, I got the mid and then the real shallow guys there from Matco. Bit sockets, Torx, and then specialty. Uh, the spline drive for Mercedes diesels, uh, deep and shallow Allen sockets, the impact ones from Matco, some real stubby Torx bits, um, Torx Plus. Here we've got my, the uh-oh drawer, thread chaser, tap and die, all sorts of various extractors, drill bits, you name it. Sorry about that guys, the compressor kicked on. This drawer's not all the way full yet, but I got some, uh, I just picked these up the other day off our, uh, our Napa actually has a tool truck, uh, which is pretty cool. Some clip tools, uh, some broken, just random, maybe I have to cut those down kind of bits. Uh, just picked those up not that long ago. Uh, not much going on in that drawer. In this, I've got uh, retainer assortments, door panel clips, sir clips. I've got uh, uh, ring clips, e-clips, cotter pins, some uh, insulated clamps, uh, spare thickum for a six liter power stroke, uh, center punches, got a rivet, a nut rivet kit, uh, power steering evac kit, brake compressor tool, some welding clamps, and some files. That drawer is currently empty, which is nice because I have some room to go into this box. And some random tools down here, Cummins camshaft install tools, some random wiring, battery charger. This locker's a little bit of a mess. Haven't quite got this one all organized yet. Um, got some random hoses and clips and whatnot up there. Some spare cases. Uh, the Matco ball joint press, coolant pressure test kit, a bunch of different pullers in this drawer here. Steering wheel pullers, gear pullers. Fuel pressure test kits. That one is empty along with that one, which is really nice. These lockers kind of surprised me compared to my old tool vault box, how much room they actually have, which is crazy. The other locker here, this has a lot more stuff in it. We've got a bunch of my cased tools, so coolant pressure testers, seal drivers, fan clutch tools, compression test kits, diesel compression test kits, uh, more sealant installers, uh, oil pressure gauges for engines and transmissions, jumbo seal installer, seven ton puller, uh, the U-Lift coolant kit, uh, slide hammer, uh, boost kit so I can go ahead and hit that Lyle kit up to intercooler boots, test uh, the integrity of intercooler systems on semi trucks and pickups. Grinder, saw, hole saws, those bimetal hole saw kits, that thing's awesome. Those are sharp and they do not wear out very fast. Timing light, uh, another ball joint set, and some random press tools. So that locker's pretty well full. And in the hutch, got my coffee maker, my monitor, and then my laptop. So, yeah, there she is. Just really happy with it so far. Did end up picking this up this last year. So this is our diagnostic station. Got the Zeus with the monitor, the touchscreen monitor, and then we keep uh, the other scan tools here, the ASE Wave test kit, and then a bunch of diagnostic tools. So the heavy duty stuff for semi trucks and whatnot. So yeah, 
if you have any questions, I'd love to do a more in-depth tour, but there's just kind of a quick overview of uh, the new Snap-on Epic.